Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, I'm here in Chicago. We have just completed a most magnificent event where God was present among us in such an incredible way. And I pray for all of you who watched on the live stream that you were blessed as well. It's not too late to watch it on the live stream as well. If you go to this address, you will be able to get it as well. I want to go to the scriptures and read from Luke chapter 5, verse 1. And it says, Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake, and the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing the nets. And he got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. And they sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. And when he'd finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we've worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they caught, caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. You know, I love this passage of scripture for the simple reason that sometimes when we think we're done, when we've done all we can, God comes along and he's able to say, go again. If you look at the scripture, what it said is that they had fished all night and they had caught nothing. And then Jesus comes along and he says, put out your nets again. And sometimes in life, what we have to do is we have to make a decision to go again. We stop and we say, well, I'm too old. Or we say to ourselves, I'm too young. Or I don't have the finances. Or I don't have the resources. I don't have the know-how. And we stop. And then one day God meets us and says, I want you to try again. I want you to go again. And sometimes, for whatever mysterious reason it is, is God causes us and puts us into the place where he prevents us or allows us to be prevented in order that at a future time, more surrendered to him, we would be more successful because we are obedient to his word. I've just been in this last few days with a group of people and I've listened to some people here in Chicago who thought that their best days had been. People who through hurt and disappointment People who see things that have failed and not worked out thought that they were done. And what Jesus said to them over the entire mission event was this, get back in the boat, throw the net out, and it's then that you'll catch the greatest catch of all. And maybe wherever you are, whatever country you're in right now, that's exactly what God is saying to you. It's time to go again. It's time to do it again. You might be a bit older. A few things about you might creak a bit more. You might need a bit of a longer nap. You need to go again. You might be young and you might say to yourself, well, I don't know how. But the search for finding how can always come if you have the search within you to try. What would happen? What would happen if you made a decision in life to go again in a marriage that's not working, in a job that hasn't been the best, or in a dream that you have that's, not, that's been delayed or maybe failed, but God is saying, go again. Today, maybe that is exactly what he's saying to you. Do you have a child that you haven't talked to for a long time? Someone you're estranged from that you haven't talked to for a long time? Maybe send an email, write a note, and just say, I'm thinking of you. Who knows what God might do? I said that once before, to, and, and a woman wrote to me and she said to me, for the last so many years, my son has not talked to me because of some things that happened years ago. And she said, I just sent him a note to say, I'm thinking of you, love you, mum. And he responded and they met and they're close today. Where do you need to throw the net out once again? Loving Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise because you are good. Give us the courage to see again, to know again, to look again, to try again, and know that you're with us. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, thanks for being with us. It's great to be able to talk to you from Chicago. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, 
God is never far from you.